We know that in solving the many, many problems and our great challenges, faith is more powerful than government, and nothing is more powerful than God. With us today is a living reminder of this truth. His name is John Ponder from Las Vegas, Nevada. Where's John? Come on up here, John. Get up here, John. John grew up without his father. As he tells it, my mother was strong, but she wasn't able to keep us out of the gangs and off the streets, right? John was in and out of jail for years until at age 38, he was arrested for bank robbery. You don't look like a bank robber, John. It's come a long way. John soon ended up in federal prison, relegated to solitary confinement. That's where God found him. John began to read the Bible and listen to Christian radio, right? Incredible. One morning at 2 a.m., he woke up to the voice of the great Billy Graham. Reverend Graham's words came through the airways. Jesus wants to be Lord of your life. That night, John dedicated his life to Christ. He spent the rest of his time in prison praying, studying the Bible, and bringing the Lord to his fellow inmates. The day after John's release, a visitor knocked on his door. It was the man who put him in jail, FBI Special Agent Richard Beasley. Who's here? Richard? Come on up, Richard. I want you to know that I've been praying for you very strongly. He said that. God called me to the FBI in part because of you, John. The two are now lifelong friends. John, do you like him? I love him. Oh, you love him? <laughs> That's nice. That's beautiful. John runs a ministry that has helped more than 2,000 former inmates rejoin society, and he's the talk of the country. The job John does is incredible. John and Richard, you are a living testament to the power of prayer. Your story reminds us that prayer changes hearts and transforms lives. It uplifts the soul, inspires action, and unites us all as one nation under God. So important. And we say it here, you know? A lot of people they don't say it. But you know what? They're starting to say it more, just like we're starting to say Merry Christmas when that day comes around. You notice the big difference between now and two or three years ago? It was, Paula, it was going in the other direction rapidly, right? Now it's straight up. Our country was founded on prayer. Our communities are sustained by prayer. And our nation will be renewed by hard work, a lot of intelligence, and prayer. Today, we gather to remember this truth. We thank God for the faith of our people. We praise God for the blessings of freedom. And we ask God to forever bless this magnificent land that we all love so much, America. Thank you. God bless you.
and God bless the United States. Thank you, everybody. Thank you very much. Thank you, John.